Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's session, 6th of September 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers, myself included, www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, the market direction this morning, Asian markets out overnight, uh, or action overnight, really was one of... Uh, uh, shall we say it certainly is it seems to be obviously it's a dead market yesterday Labor Day in the US light volumes etc flow up so on and so forth but uh, the um, uh, the the only uh, market really that was shown uh, certainly was the Hang Seng and the Shanghai index certainly higher both uh, along with the Nikkei was more or less flat okay so the Nikkei really giving no sense of any real direction okay if I bring up the actual chart of Nikkei let's just have a look here Again, the Nikkei is very important given the fact that we have the USDJP now why now back down to the uh, 103 level and you can clearly see in the daily chart it's really, uh, quite an important juncture here now we've certainly broken above this key resistance level here okay 17082 after hours the uh, Nikkei is currently trading around the 17045 level okay so we certainly have a few unfilled gaps below having said that we are into gap fill resistance just above uh, the pivot high being 724 17242 until we get some real concerted effort in terms of uh, USDJPY moving higher, it's very hard to see the uh, the Nikkei moving higher now. USDJPY is very very important because everything moves obviously inverse to the uh, the yen, so this is why it's, it plays quite an important role now. Let me just bring up the chart. USDJPY, you, you clearly have a HNS formation, something that I was looking at before. Okay, so. You can clearly see that there on the four hour chart and the 60 minute chart certainly provides it as well. So you can certainly see the fact that we have this pattern here. So you have the left shoulder obviously going in here, head, and then the right shoulder and starting to potentially move lower. So given the fact that the yen is starting to rise and you are looking at a, the Nikkei certainly coming under pressure. So again, that certainly is something to consider. Having said that though, the Shanghai, uh, impressive, okay. It certainly looks like it wants to move higher still, okay the Shanghai index and uh, certainly has room to uh, maneuver there as well a lot of the uh, attention certainly seems to be on oil now we have had uh, mr. well Zangani I think his name is uh, Iranian um, chap basically uh, stating that uh, they are for the uh, potential uh, uh, attempt at uh, stabilizing the oil market so I'm not sure what that means basically but certainly is considered to be uh, bullish at face value okay especially with the saudis and the um, the actual uh, russians yesterday as well in terms of economic data this morning uh, overnight we had retail sales from the uk certainly weaker than expected uh, australian uh, interest rate kept steady so therefore helped the aussie move higher chf gdp came in uh, slightly stronger on the stronger side uh, german factory orders came in on the weaker side okay uh, CHF CPI data came in weak okay EU GDP came in in line okay so again that certainly is a good sign no uh, uh, nothing in indicating that the market certainly slowing down so that's something certainly something to con consider as well okay but for now a EU GDP coming in line should certainly help stabilize the markets and again the uh, stock market certainly seems to be focused on the QE okay the QE trade certainly seems to be the dominant theme at the moment. Okay, so all eyes on QE, especially Mr. Draghi on Thursday. The market certainly seems to be asleep. Okay, and again, looking forward towards that additional QE. Now, let's bring up the actual uh, markets now in terms of technicals. Uh, daily chart, the German DAX at the moment still holding that potential gap fill resistance. But given the fact that we have had some bullish comments with regards to Germany, even though the factory orders were weaker this morning, there was talk of a potential fiscal stimulus program uh, in terms of uh, Germany. German fair shovel should be around 15 billion worth of scope for cutting taxes from 2017. So again, a fiscal stimulus there to use budget leeway to boost investment. So uh, tax cuts and uh, an attempt to uh, boost uh, investment. Again, that certainly is good news for the German DAX. And that should certainly help the German DAX move higher from my perspective. And again, don't be surprised if the German DAX breaks higher and tests the uh, 10,850 to 11,000 level, uh, given the fact that it's uh, certainly uh, consolidating here. And again, going into Draghi as well, expectations of potentially more QE. Again, that certainly will keep the uh, the bears at bay. Okay, so uh, the bulls certainly have the upper hand there. Okay, in terms of the French CAC now, let's bring up the French CAC for you. 
Again, French Cat testing that uh, pivot low, uh, which is gap fill. Uh, going back into gap fill for the day. A 60-minute chart, you certainly had a bearish engulfing candle and then therefore looking for bearish continuation or a bear flag pattern. And that certainly is, seems to be the uh, the way at present. The daily chart, again, still holding gap fill. A resistance support talk of this fiscal stimulus via Germany certainly will help propel it higher from my understanding. FTSE 100 certainly has been the weakest link this morning. Again, argument for uh, FTSE to rally now back up to the 677, 6870 to potentially 6880 zone. So certainly looking for a rally up to the 6880 zone on the FTSE 100. Although you do have some turbulence around the 6872, so be aware and mindful of that as well. Uh, in terms of talk, uh, helping the uh, oil trade, certainly Ms. Iran's comments are certainly help helping that. Okay, in terms of economic data, weaker overnight retail sales, certainly. Certainly not helping that potential trade idea. Okay, so again, I'll understand it from that perspective too. Okay, so certainly is a... Uh, you can look at the market from multiple angles at present and certainly argue for both sides. But for now, uh, again, it certainly seems to be the light volume certainly is favoring the upside. And given the fact that oil certainly uh, is uh, holding potential support and looking for a move higher in the back of these Iranian comments. OK, and also Mr. Draghi as well. Central banks generally keep the markets afloat until uh, they actually uh, start the actual meeting as well. So, again, that's certainly another factor to consider, too. OK, so again, Aussie Kiwi certainly pushing higher. Gold certainly pushing higher overnight as well. Copper certainly pushing higher as well. So everything certainly seems to be well supported. And uh, the owners really rely on the US markets now as to the potential next direction there. OK, so on that note, please do uh, visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the 25% bonus. Uh, OK, folks, and uh, wish you well until my end of day video. Goodbye now.